What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of New Parenting Training. Well, if you follow my video from yesterday, uh, you will see that I went out and get a bunch of gift cards. Well, not only any gift cards, but Visa gift cards. And uh, the deal is still, uh, is still ongoing for Dash, it's 5% off at Coker. And for, if you have Chasing Freedom card, then it's 5% off for your uh, grocery store up until end of June. And but for Kroger, the four times point ends in uh, June 18, 2019. So make sure to, if you want to uh, get more points for your Kroger, then you have to do it uh, today and tomorrow up until June 18. But if you just want to stack up uh, gift cards uh, and get the 10% cash back, 5% from Dodge and then 5% from Chase Freedom, then you can do it up until the end of this month or wherever the Dodge deal ends. It doesn't have an expiration date, so I am not quite sure when that will end. So anyway, uh, that video came out yesterday, and of course, today is Monday. I went out and got more. <laughs> now, as the title suggested, uh, that this video is about how I end up making money by getting this card. Uh, part of the reason why I get the Visa or Master gift card is that uh, not only they accept it anywhere you go shopping where they accept the uh, Visa or Master cards, uh, but this money are different than the traditional gift card that you normally see, such as uh, Netflix or AMC or or Amazon gift cards. Those you cannot turn into cash. Those need to be stayed with that particular store. Well, at least that's as far as I, I know how to. But for MasterCard and Visa or MX cards, they are different. And hence why they will have a fee when you purchase them. And this will only make sense because of the 10% cashback currently running. If there is no cashback incentive, then this will not be a uh, money-making uh, process. So what I end up doing is I, I look up many different ways of how to transfer the, your Visa gift card back to your bank account. Now, there are multiple ways of doing that. Uh, one is to a company called Square, which they have a charging system, but that costs money. Essentially, what it does is that you register with them, they give you a little dongle, uh, you plug it into your phone, and whatever cards that you wanted to use, uh, you just swipe it and charge it as if it's a charge uh, to a merchant. Uh, but that uh, that in itself carry a fee, like that something somewhere around like two to three percent uh, fee. So that doesn't make much sense because um, all the fees add up, you probably come out barely break even. And also, you have to have a uh, Square account with the dongle, but and, and also the dongle costs money as well. So anyway, uh, that idea got scrapped, and uh, so I went on to see PayPal. So PayPal lets you to charge yourself. Well, technically not charge yourself. You can request money from somebody uh, as if you are a vendor. So then, essentially, once you request the money to whichever email or phone, you can then use the uh, the gift card to pay the amount. But that in itself carry a fee as well. So it's 30 cents per transaction and 2.9% uh, and fee. So that come out to be $3.20 if I wanted to go with that route. But then again, I mean, the the gift card fee is $5.95 with a $3.20 uh, PayPal fee, I will still come out ahead, but then it doesn't make much sense because uh, what's the point? You, you you do all this for a few pennies? No, 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 not on this channel. Okay, so I found a third way of doing that, which is to Venmo. Now with Venmo, it's free, 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 free. Venmo, you can transfer the money free. So what I end up doing, I will show you in a little bit on my desktop. So what happened is you need to have two accounts. 
uh, one of course is your own uh, I use my wife's account as well so what it does is you link up first you have to register this card on the website provided once it's been registered then you can uh, add this card to your Venmo essentially what it does is that I pay my wife a hundred dollars using this card and there is no fee associated to it so now let's have a little breakdown I pay $5.95 per $100 card and get $10 back 5% for Dodge and 5% for the uh, Chase Freedom so essentially I get 10% uh, $10 back now $10 minus $5.95 that's $4.05 per $100 uh, that's quite a well it, it's about four percent it's a little bit over four percent of return if you if you're into investment and whatnot four percent in a couple hours of work that is quite good wouldn't you say that's quite easy like essentially it's easy money now chase freedom has fifteen hundred dollars uh, maximum on the 5% cash back for the entire quarter which ends in the month of June the, in the end of the June so if you want to take advantage of it imagine this uh, then $1,500 let's just say $4 back flat then that's $60 $60 I mean why wouldn't anybody have fun with 60 free money $60 of free money essentially yeah this is you are making money off the credit card uh, potentially like, well I mean before they will always charge you money for them but now you're actually making money off them how exciting is that? and also the coke are a few points alright so um, I got over a thousand points already uh, I think I'm uh, somewhere near 1600 or so that's a dollar off already per gallon which I'm gonna use for the for the month of June I'm planning on getting to 2,000 points so I would let 1,000 points roll over to July and I can use them right now the gas in Houston uh, I drove by Kroger today it was two dollar and twenty some odd cents so a dollar off that's a dollar twenty cents per gallon You'd be nuts not to take advantage of it. Uh, well, anyway, let me show you how to transfer the money on, on the desktop. And you guys can uh, go ahead and try this if you would like to. But I assure you, I have done this myself and it worked. Okay, so I am not posting anything that kind of fishy or, or didn't work. I'm making things up. No, I tested it out and the money is in the account so we good and I essentially this whole ordeal I just I I am making money right now <laughs> just for a few hours of work all right okay let's get into it so when you open up the your gift card it will have a sticker on top to let you register your card at pre well www.prepaygiftcardbalance.com and make sure you go on there first to register your car so that way you can uh, link your car to your Venmo account so if you are a first time visitor then of course you have to type in those 16 digits and so on and so forth I already done that part so now I'm just going to show you a little bit like the returning visitor session well, once you have signed in then you have to type in the three digits on the back of your car so once you come in here uh, you will see your account uh, which you see here is zero dollars because i already transferred the uh, 100 dollars out as of this morning uh, but uh, once you come in here you should come over to register gift card and if you haven't done it it will prompt you to register your car you can use your name uh, address and so on and so forth once you have done that then once you, when you go to venmo to link your car that's what the information you will be using so just keep that in mind you need to register your gift card in order for this to work 
but there's not much to look at here aside from the transaction that's already been done. So anyway, we're going to exit this part. Okay, now let's move on to Venmo. Uh, if you haven't set up a Venmo account, then it's really good time to set it up. Uh, it's really safe and easy to use Venmo. And because you, you are looking up your friends on it and then transfer the money to them. And but once you have set it up and uh, go ahead and go to your settings. And under here, we're going to go to payment methods. And this is where you link up your car. You can edit payment methods and add debit card or credit card. So as you can see here, a standard 3% fee apply for sending money using credit card because the gift card that you get is not a credit card, it's a debit card. There is no fee. The fee is waived for authorized merchant payments, Venmo, balance, bank accounts, and debit cards. So they are free to use. So that's why I end up doing. I link up a, uh, the Visa debit card, one of them, and uh, once I'm done with that, it shows up here. So I go back to the initial page and I look up wherever I need to send it to. And then in this case, a hundred dollars for, and you can just type in something like for ice cream. I don't know, just something like that. And then you can, uh, once you find the person that will willing to help you or your spouse or your friend that will not take your money. <laughs> uh, just put their names on there and then send. And it should take a matter of less than a minute. It was really, really fast. Anyway, so as you can see here, there's a hundred dollars that went to, uh, that went out from this account that was using the, the Visa debit card. Uh, so yeah, once the money is in your Venmo, you can transfer to your bank account at same same place where the setting was payment methods this is where you link up your bank account once the bank account is being linked then you can later on transfer the money out to whichever the bank account that's linked that's also free uh, to transfer there as well so yeah uh, there you have it it's super easy to do. Well, the initial setup might be a little bit confusing, but if you have any questions, just comment down below. I'll do uh, what I can to, to answer all your questions. Anyway, so if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like our channel, please subscribe. Until next time, happy saving. Bye.